Guess what? Tomorrow is National Mezcal Day. So we're going to celebrate the smoky spirit by showing you how to make three delicious Mezcal cocktails right now. Right now. And our next guest is the beverage director at Pando Ooh. Park and Pando 39. Two pubs, by the way, are serving up American food and craft cocktails in Midtown South, Midtown which is not far South. from where we are in Midtown East. In Midtown East. Okay. Jason Jeffords joins us live this morning to walk us through it all. Jason, hello and welcome Jason, to New York Living. Up? Thank it's you. Thank you for having you. me. I'm we, so glad that Mezcal is getting its moment. I'm it's, a big it's fan. So, we're so excited to have Mezcal. We brought an entire brass band to, to celebrate. <laughs> Great. Okay. First and foremost, what is the difference between Mezcal and tequila? Yes. I think the biggest difference between Mezcal and tequila is how it's cooked. How they cook the piñas and the fact that um, Mezcal can come from multiple types of agave. So, okay, got that? Um, you got that? Think about the difference Cooking of the penis a, uh, roasting right. broccoli versus steaming broccoli. Obviously, two steaming, different flavors. Steaming oh. food doesn't add as much flavor, right. where roasting it adds a lot more flavor. They basically dig a big pit, put wood in there, set it on fire, cover it with rocks, and then they cover it with the pinas. And that's how it gets all that smoky flavor. That they cook it for about a week. I would what? love to see this. Thank in you for, yeah. for saying that. I that never knew. Like, bing, all of a sudden, yeah, that all, makes sense, that all right? Made sense. And yeah. when you say piña, we're talking about pineapple, or is this a specific nope, type of piña? That's pina? what they that, that's what they call the agave once it's har harvested. Because agave, by the way, is what tequila comes from. I, that I knew. It, it looks like a pineapple once it's harvested, right? But okay. much larger. Okay. And in agave, they can be anywhere from the size of a watermelon to the size of a small car. Oh, a small car. A small car. Let's get rare, to it. Like a yeah, yeah, car. Yeah. First drink up. What yeah. do we have? So the first one we're going to do is our smoky um, mezcal margarita. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. No. No. Worries. no. So what basically, do you need? What do you need? We're here to help you. I don't have my jigger here, you but want a jigger? we can oh, do it. We can. Can we get a jigger on aisle twelve? Can, we can free jigger pour in aisle twelve, please. I am a professional here. Yes, he is. So. On an ounce and a half of smoky mezcal, we infuse this in house. Ooh. Beautiful. Yep. Then we. I'm going to move this just so we can no see. No problem. You more. We yeah. have fresh tomatillo juice that we <gasps> squeeze every day. Oh, excuse this me. This is uh, little, the little green tomatoes with the husk. Yes, I love those. I was just going to say, I make a delicious tomatilla salsa. Of course you do. But I didn't realize that you could juice it. Yep. So this is a health beverage right here. This is you know a, this is a skinny our, margarita. We're, get, uh, yes, the, we're getting our vitamin A here, okay? Oh, it's a green juice. Well, what did we just put in there? This was our simple syrup. We use cane syrup for okay. our syrup. Sure. And that guy. And then this is lime juice. He's not yeah, messing of around. Course, of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. Got this. And here's the jigger. Some yellow. Yeah. Oh, there's your jigger. Seek and you shall find. Thank, Thank you, so you very much. much. Oh. Ice, ice, baby. Yep. I don't want us to Oop. slip on this later. And last but not least, yes. a little basil. Some we, basil, just We cause. tried this with cilantro because it seemed like it would make more sense, but basil just, just added a, a lot oh, more nice flavor. I'm not a cilantro girly. I forgot about that. I love cilantro. Mm. A little bit of mezcal. Because mezcal deserves its own day. Uh, yes, it does. A mezcal, ooh, that looks now really put, good. Now put that Hold on, put right that baby here. front and center for Bobby to get a good mm. look at him. Oh, he got And it you've garnished garnish. it with a lime? Or is yep. that a Meyer lemon? Can we see the size of these basil leaves? We, have a, oh, Hello. we got beautiful basil today. Wow. Look how big those leaves are. They're okay. as tall as you, money. That's not hard to do, but yes, I would agree. Okay. Yeah, so fantastic. It's a it's a nice take on a on a margarita. Again, it's a skinny margarita, not too much sugar, and it's savory because it has the basil and it has the and that's the tomatillo juice. Spicy tomatillo margarita. Next Let, up. You, should I do the honors of tasting the drink? You know, Cheap, you please. You taste. I volunteer Jason, tribute. Spicy you, first, why not? May the odds forever be in your favor. Mm. Uh, let, next one. What do we have here? So next we have the eat a peach. Wow. Do this I is, dare to eat a peach? I'm gonna take Fruit this home rock, for later. Anyone? Where's Chris Lamb? I need it to go. This I need is it to go. this is one of our favorite drinks. A couple dashes eat of orange bitters. Orange bitters is almost like salt to cocktails. It just makes flavors pop a little bit more. Oh. Okay. I'm learning a lot on this. We have you know what, Monty, go eat a peach. 0.75 ounces of lemon. Lemon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then we have our, I pre-batched it, but this is our little How cute. secret mix of um, peach and our other liqueurs. So we're gonna put two ounces of that in. I like it's like a you beaker. are over this this fellow's yeah. shoulder here. I know because he said it's his secret thing, and I'm trying to see if he wrote it down anywhere. So it's written down. <laughs> it's on his palm. It's in the recipe. Um, it's in his brain. And then the really cool, fun thing about this is that it uses multiple different spirits. A lot of cocktails yeah. are just vodka or just mm -hmm. gin. This has three different spirits. It has mezcal, okay. bourbon, and pisco. Now, does the mezcal play along with these? So other? the thing is, mezcal goes a long way. So you don't need a lot of it. Just a dash. So in this drink, mm -hmm. it's literally a quarter ounce of mezcal. It's just a okay. One whisper. ounce of pisco, which is a grape spirit. 
right? From Peru? Oh, I love Pisco. Pisco, yeah, Pisco, Pisco so good. A Pisco mm -hmm. salad. I just had one of those last week. We oh, need a Pisco. Were you in Peru? I was in Portugal. Oh, oh that was a long, like We a need a Pisco ago. down. <laughs> Not enough people are drinking Pisco. Thank okay. you. Justice for Pisco. And then you're gonna... On Mezcal Day. Yep. Yeah, and then we're gonna do this. More ice. Yep. And we'll shake this one up. And then shake a, shake a, shake a. Another big shake. That, that's the sound of a Saturday night, fellas. There you go. You are very nimble with that thing. Too that many years wait, of wait, doing pour, this. Wait, pour it over here so yep. Bobby can get the well, money Bobby shot. likes to be front row to all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that, Bobby? Oh, it's a pretty oh, color, yeah. too. Look at that, another gorgeous cocktail. I love a craft cocktail. A craft cocktail, nice burger. I don't know how to make one, but I like when one is made I try. For okay. Yeah. Give Eat it a, a peach. taste. This one. Monty, I'll, I'll get in there. I'll start with the peaches. You head this over to the This one might change your life. Oh, I hope so. You know what, save me a sip. I've been waiting. For something. For like a girl this. like you. And then last but we'll not let you go over least. Hmm? Oh, that's nice. That's good, right? Three different spirits in that, too. That's wow. what makes it totally, this totally is, unique. Now, this is one that you, it, you the, the experience that's is nice. refined. You keep going. We're getting, yeah. we're getting, we're getting a quick no, clap here. No problem. Um, I could see myself sitting, like, just lazing about for hours. Try that one. Okay, fine. Mm. It's going to give you a nice kick in the coolie. Oh, I like that, I though. Know. I love it, actually. The, I more the, than like that. The citrus finish on this one, Jason. Oh, and there's the spicy. While you you're sipping it, you get the basil in your face, so you're smelling basil. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Jason, All right, I'll buck up. It's a basil facial. Thank you, Director Dave. Jason, it's like you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, I, ho I hope <laughs> I know what I do I'm doing. It's been too many years to not know what I'm doing. And now this is the pineapple... Pineapple proper. Pineapple, pineapple proper. proper. Yep, and again, another cocktail with two different spirits. This has mezcal and pineapple rum. Ooh, a black vessel hey. for spooky yeah. season. Yep. I like all the matte yes. finishes. It's very, on very all of your popular stuff. these days. It's spooky luxury. Uh oh, ooh, ooh. we'll put this over here. Bartending's a messy business. You know what? As is life. Yes, it is. Life yes, it is. gets messy. Hopefully, and that's these okay. drinks make Are it a we little gonna... easier. I see. Oh. oh, I love this vessel. Look at the pineapple vessel. How pretty are we? And then last but not least, that? we top it with a little pineapple, pineapple cider. This is almost the only thing in my fridge. Uh, what was the tiki? Jason. Did I miss what the tiki was? Tiki, I'm sorry. Tiki bitters. Are we those put some saffron tiki, tiki. threads? Those are not saffron threads. I was going to say, because you spent a lot of what money if those were all saffron threads. Those saffron are thread. chili threads. So those are basically just chilies. You know what? Happy yeah. birthday, Miss And dried uh, Yeah. So oh, the kiwi. great thing about the chili threads is you get such an aromatic smell when you put it up to your mouth. Well, thank Amazing. you for hosting our Friday party. Oh, yes. thank you. Uh, to learn more about Pando Park and Pando 39, visit pandopubs.com. We're going to get a straw, try this, and then we'll come back.